Hey guys, what's up? It's Rygar the Destroyer, and today we're going to be taking a look at the 442nd Siege Battalion Clone Trooper. Uh, I unfortunately don't have the packaging for this guy. I bought him loose. Uh, so, we're just going to have to jump right into the review. He stands uh, about 4 inches tall to the top of the antenna, just a little bit under that for his helmet. And he comes with a pretty good range of accessories. Uh, the first one here is the Clone Trooper Blaster, the smaller one. And it's got pretty good detail on it. No paintwork or anything like that, but it does look good and it serves its purpose. The second accessory is this antenna here. It is removable. I'll go ahead and show you that. Again, just molded in flat black plastic. And it fits into a, well, if I can not drop the figure, into this little slot up here. So that looks nice. Uh, the original figure uh, came with a stand that said, you know, 442nd Siege Battalion uh, on the front. And he may have come with one of those, I'm not sure if you'll remember, they were like small holograms or like this tall, made of like a clear red or blue translucent plastic. Uh, I didn't get that with this, but it may have come uh, with one. So, uh, Moving on from there, he does have pretty good articulation, and I do want to mention that uh, this mold of the Clone Trooper body is my favorite, even though it is kind of limited in certain places, I think it looks the best. So in his head, he's got a large ball peg, and it gives him really great range of motion. He can look up, down, tilt his head side to side, you know, twist it 360, everything like that. He's got ball hinge shoulders that go up about this far, and they do spin to 360. He's got ball hinge elbows that do swivel, swivel wrists, and he's got uh, a hinge that runs this way, forward and back, and then on top of that, it does swivel. So you get really good range of motion in the chest area, at least leaning back. Forward's not so great, but uh, back it definitely works well. He's got swivel hips that essentially don't move. Uh, it's just the way they're sculpted. The armor plates uh, kind of uh, rub up against the plastic. He's got ball hinged knees that do swivel. And then he's got ball hinged ankles that again swivel. So overall his articulation is really uh, pretty good except for his hips. Everything else works uh, great. And I do want to take a moment to mention the awesome paint job that they give this guy. If you can uh, see that, they actually spent the time to make the armor look kind of weathered and have some like black scuffs and stuff like that. Uh, not so much on the back of the figure, but at least on the front, it does look pretty good. So overall, I would say that if you like uh, clone troopers, this one is worth picking up. If you're looking for a character that was featured in the Clone Wars or in one of the movies, uh, this guy is not one that you'll want. Uh, I would spend your money and buy the 212th or uh, 501st Trooper if you're looking uh, for one. But I would definitely buy a clone trooper that's on this body mold. I think it does look really nice. So uh, anyway, if you have any comments or questions, just leave them down in the comment section below. And I'll see you later.